It's truly remarkable that science and technology has developed so far that we can access heaps of information about the stars, planets and galaxies, even though we cannot physically reach most of them. Although it can be overwhelming to know just how much exists out there, the more you learn and understand, the easier it is to grasp. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, are three new astronomical discoveries that have offered great insight into the workings of the world and beyond. NASA Telescope Finds a Milky Way Twin 9 Billion Light Years Away We all have theories of what might happen if people could successfully time travel and go back in time. While it's not yet possible to return to the past in its more direct sense, historically speaking, looking at stars can sometimes give scientists and researchers insight into the early history of many different astronomical phenomena. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope recently discovered a galaxy that has a significant and notable resemblance to our own. This is huge because it gives researchers and scientists a lot of insight and information about what the galaxy must have looked like and various traits it might have sustained in its infancy. The galaxy, referred to as the Milky Way's twin or mirror image, is nicknamed the Sparkler, owing to the fact that there are about two dozen glittering globular clusters orbiting around it. There are also a few dwarf galaxies nearby that are essentially swallowed up by this twin galaxy because it's so large in comparison. This finding is already adding to the existing research and information that we have about our galaxy. The JWSP was able to show what the sparkler looked like when the entire universe was only 4 billion years old. What this implies is that the sparkler, much like the Milky Way, must have started developing and forming quite early in cosmic history. Not only that, but if it continues in the same growth pattern and path as the Milky Way, through galaxy acquisitions and mergers, then in about 9 billion years, it will likely look just like the Milky Way. The sparkler is in the direction of the constellation Volans, in the sky of the southern hemisphere. It's quite far from us at about 9 billion light years away, meaning it must have come into existence a few billion years after the Big Bang. Like the Milky Way, it did not just appear into being. It formed, developed, and grew. Both galaxies began as what is called overdensities of matter, a gathering of substances like neutral hydrogen clouds. These particles were attracted to each other due to strong gravitational pulls, creating blobs and clumps, some of which remained separate as clusters of stars. The Milky Way, and quite possibly the Sparkler, then went through a period of acquisition and merging, during which it cannibalized on surrounding dwarf galaxies, thereby adding to its own size and makeup. This is a big evolutionary step in our own galaxy, because scientists think that at least half of the Milky Way's mass came from these mergers. While it's not known for certain whether the sparkler will definitely follow the same evolutionary growth as the Milky Way, the JWST seems to indicate that there is a high probability that it will. The mystery smudges on Saturn's rings Spoke season refers to a period of time during the Saturnian year, around the equinoxes, when mystery smudges appear on the planet's rings. These smudge marks are roughly shaped like the spokes of a wheel. Scientists and researchers have no idea what causes them or why they appear. Saturn's spoke smudges were initially discovered in images from the two Voyager probes back in 1980 and 1981. These temporary streaks could not be attributed to shadows because they followed the rings around in their orbit, staying in the same spot. Another characteristic of these spokes was found to be that they appeared darker from above and even sometimes disappearing altogether. From below they seemed to be bright. The spokes appear usually during Saturn's spring and autumn for an eight-year period centered around the equinox and disappear during the summer and winter, which correlates to the solstice. A recent re-emergence of these spoke smudges means there is once again a chance to observe and find more information about them. This resurgence, combined with the constantly advancing and improving scientific technology, is a great opportunity to study these smudges in detail. The Space Bubble Hiding Inside Dust Clouds Space is so enormous that even if researchers worked to identify everything within its bounds, 
there probably would be no end to what they could find. Not only are there countless galaxies, stars, meteors, planets, asteroids, and so many other identifiable elements, but there is so much that we do not know, that remains unidentified as of yet. The most recent example of this is what astronomers found located deep within the heart of a thick cloud of gas and dust located more than 450 light years away. This bubble was previously unseen because it was hidden within the dust clouds and exists within a stellar nursery called Barnard 18. It's thought to have been caused by the gas surrounding two stars as they formed and developed within the clouds. This is just the second time that such a discovery has been made. It's a significant finding because it offers researchers and astronomers a way to study how star growth affects its surrounding environment. The bubble has been associated with what is referred to as the outflow, associated with an emerging star. This is an ejection of material that happens as a star goes through various stages of development and growth. Star formation is a complicated process. It begins with cold, dense clouds containing dust and various gases, including hydrogen. As these materials gather, there is an increase in pressure and gravitational force, causing it to collapse in on itself. It swirls, pulling in even more materials from the fog within its vicinity. This continues until it reaches a point where it has so much mass that the pressure and heat generate the hydrogen that makes up the core of all stars. The outflow is the result of the baby star accumulating mass, lashing out at the space around it, pulling materials in. The fact is that not all of those materials end up as part of the star. Rather, some accelerate and are thrown towards the poles and launched into space as astrophysical jets. The winds that occur while this is going on can often create voids in the clouds that the stars are born in. These outflows, also called feedback, seem to play a significant role in cutting off the growth of stars and also the evolution of the interstellar medium, also known as the gas and dust, that drifts around in the space between stars. In order to get a better look into the clouds and the bubble within, a team of astronomers led by Yang Duan and Di Li of National Astronomical Observatories of the Chinese Academy of Sciences decided to switch to radio wavelengths. That is how they found the bubble structure within Barnard 18. It was identified by astronomers as a Herbig Harrow object called HH319. These are caused by protostellar jets that blast away from source stars at extremely high speeds, crashing into the molecular clouds and causing them to glow. This offered clues as to the origin of the object, though there could be many factors that could indicate a specific origin. Researchers were able to trace the source back to a pair of T-Tauri stars, and were able to estimate that activity from these two stars almost 70,000 years ago must have started carving out the giant bubble that exists there now. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.